So, did you prefer anybody else, or? No. Yeah, uh -huh. a friend. Okay. No. How what? How we can lower the piece? Yeah, I'm trying to get it lower, a little bit lower in the coil when it's initially heating, because that's where the flux density is concentrated in the center. Because that top turns counterclockwise, so it's actually canceling a little bit. But once it starts to get hot, you need to put more current in it to lift it because its resistivity starts changing. Do you want to adjust the power just to show how it changes a little bit? So this is the, a little over two grams, about the same size the customer is going to want to eat. Oh, it's almost still right there. Yeah, right now, right now. I think it's almost balanced on a little part of the coil. It's, oh, yeah, it's touching a little bit. Every ten, one piece. Because it's going to stick to it? It might. No, it's just the braid. Is it bonding itself to the side? It's getting closer to a kilowatt. That's awesome. They need the fixture. Okay. That was a great idea. For loading it. You could experiment a little bit with the top turn, how far, how close it is. I can't. I'm, I'm no, no, it's a we will take a picture. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, no, that's great. The video is all right, so it doesn't really matter if it is more, you know. What I had to do is reflux it with some flux, which is not normal. Okay. So it's not centered, it's not something I want to send to a customer. But if we take a picture of it like that, right. we'll be able to see what we're doing. Okay, all right, yeah, that sounds good. So this is what we they use for material testing, and they... Basically, basically, so material ba development. You know, so, they so develop what's the concept the here, based on the, the frequency you're using? Uh, it would, and, and the specific mass. Okay, so different materials would have a specific weight. We call a specific weight. Okay. And a specific uh, heating, uh, depending on the different materials. We've got different densities. And, uh, but uh, what is this material? This is aluminum. Aluminum? Yeah. So, so what, are you, what, what would you prove? You would pr prove that a material is a pure. Here's something. So, yeah, so. because what you're actually doing, you are melting a material without any touch, any external yes. touch. Yeah. So it's it's pure to be analyzed. It's always fun to look at living things. <laughs> Everybody likes that. <laughs> yeah. And it's so simple. And it's glowing, glowing levitation. Yeah. Different direction. Okay. Do you have any questions? Oh, thank you. Yeah. Do you have any questions? Yeah. Do you have any questions? Yeah. Yeah. I used to do that with a stainless steel. A little ball? Yeah, yeah, we had some little balls. Yeah. I had, I know where they are from the last one. If you need them. No, no, it's almost one of the pieces. I'm going to go to two kilowatts. Normally the brazing is very close to the melting point. So that's the trick. But they're coming out with, with different alloys with lower melting points. So it's going to be easier and safer to make brazing with aluminum. Okay. 
So we think this is molten. The other point is you're, you're not supposed to use higher frequency. Lower frequency is better for all of you. Yeah, it's molten, but I don't know if you heard what Scott was saying. Uh, you might have been out. The uh, oxide on the outside right, is, no, no, is, I heard is a much it's higher temperature, so it's kind of holding it. But actually inside that, so as soon as we drop it, you'll It'll see go it. deformation. Yeah, you'll see it deform. You, you ready? Yeah. Nice. Now when you make videos like that, 